Hello everyone, my name is Belitus and welcome to episode 7 of my Minecraft Beta 1.5 Let's Play. Today I have a few projects that I want to work on, but first I have some upsetting news. If we go into achievements, they have all reset. <laughs> all of this work is now gone. <laughs> I, I have no clue why that happened. I think it might have been because I did play in... I played in a earlier version and that may have reset everything, uh, which is quite upsetting, but nothing I can do about it except start from the start and get back up to that point. The first thing that I am wanting to do, and I'm not too sure where I am wanting to put it, I am wanting to work on a mob grinder because of course I've got the zombies over this way, I've got down in the mines, I've got those spiders, but I don't have any way of getting gunpowder, I don't have any way of getting bones or anything like that, so I'm wanting to make something so that I can actually get those things. But I'm not sure if I'm wanting to do it sort of in the ground, sort of maybe around here, dug in the ground, or have it as like a big box. So I'm just going to give that a bit of thought. But also, I'm wanting to do something that at the moment is completely useless. Right over here, which by the way, this did used to be a hill, and then I dug it back and found this beautiful pool. But right over here, I am wanting to build a library, because I think it would be nice to have a place to just sit and relax. So those are the two big plans of today. So I have made a decision on where I am going to put it. Right over here in this cliff, I'm going to build back that way, and that is going to be the mob grinder. So hopefully they will all fall down, they will come back up, and they will fall down and die and sort of a wee chamber where I can collect all of their items. I've carved this cliff back to stone because mining dirt, that ain't it. But mining stone, that's the shit. So, I'm gonna put a bed down here. That is going to be what I'm going to use to not die when it turns night. And time to start mining. You thought it was just going to be you and the music, didn't you? Well, I tricked ya! <laughs> I thought we may as well have some one-to-one -one time. Uh, first of all, I have to say thank you so much. By the time that this is out, I may have reached 300 subscribers, which is amazing because when I started this series, I was on 29 subscribers. 29! And now I'm at 300. That is crazy. I have also recorded most of me making this mob grinder, but the majority of that won't be in this video because that will just be long and boring. So if you want to watch that maybe as sort of a background video, I have edited it with a bunch of beautiful lo-fi beats to shit and piss to, and that will be on a second YouTube channel. Link in the description if you want to see that. But anyways, enjoy the rest of this beautiful, beautiful video. Like and subscribe. So this may not look like much, but this was a decent amount of work. This is just the bottom level. There will be 
plenty of other levels that will be going up. Um, I am also yet to add in the water, so I'll be doing that next. But yeah, basically all of these platforms uh, monsters will spawn into, and then they'll fall down here, they'll travel through a bunch of water, and then they'll probably go up a pipe, and then they'll fall straight down into a chamber which I will be AFK in and I will be able to get all of this stuff. So it's been around 20 minutes since the last recording and I have done two things which may not seem like a lot but trust me it, it's, it takes a long time and it's quite boring. I added in the water and of course the signs and I have also put it up one block um, so that I don't bump my head whenever I am moving around in here. Which, by the way, just moving it up one block takes so long. Imagine all of this, but it takes this long. Like, it's, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. But now, I am going to do the next level up, and then I might just leave it at that for now, um, and then move on to something else, because this is taking quite a while. So, after half an hour's work, I have finally completed the second level. Oh. Now, I have finally completed the second level. This was far too much energy for my brain to comprehend what I was doing, but in the end, I succeeded. It looks like a bunch of UFOs. So now, I'm just going to build a big box over the top of it and then I'll start on a wee spout that will bring them up and then bring them back down again. So that's what I'll be working on now. Now that's a big box. So now I have everything ready to go. I have this here which will be the chamber where hopefully they will just fall down and die. Um, that's a reasonably high drop. Um, so now all I need to do is take away all of these torches and then it should be all ready. That's the bottom done and it's got a sort of nice ominous glow from the torches from the top which I will be taking away now so this is your last chance to see this beautiful ominous glow. Now this is terrifying so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna close it up and let's see if it spawns anything. Turn on F3, nothing yet. There's my dogs over there. Maybe if I unload the chunks, move all the way over this way, I'll actually take the rail and then I'll come back. I'm gonna go to sleep quickly, and then there will be the grand reveal. Come on. That looks very promising. Looks like they don't end up dying though is the issue. So there's still that. Still two hits. Well, looks like I'll need to be putting that up another ten blocks or so. That That's quite disappointing. Oh well, but look. Look at that. There's quite a few monsters in there. Look at these guys. Let's just say hello. Hello, friends. <laughs> That's a few creepers down. And up he goes. <laughs> and... <laughs> I have to say, it's very fun to watch. I'm going to build this up probably almost to the top of the cliff, and hopefully after that it will work. So I've made the funnel a bit higher, but now there's this issue. 
I have to get all of these guys out of the way so that I can unblock it without getting any of the creepers to blow up. Because if the creeper blows up, then so will all of my work. Oh. Or apparently not. Now, we can close this up and hope to hell that this here will be enough to kill them. I see one zombie. So I'm going to try and get him to walk down. Hello there. Hello there. There we go. So he's making his way over. There we go. Alright, come on. Uh, we still need to make it taller. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. So I have put it up a few more blocks. And if it doesn't work this time, then I'll be <laughs> pissed off. Yes! <laughs> yes! It works! It works! Finally! Come on, let's let's see some more. <laughs> yes! It's actually working. <laughs> Finally, after all this time, look at this. It may look ugly as fuck. I have no clue how I'm going to fix this. Of course, there will, there will be more layers to it. But after all of that time, after all of that work, it is finally working as it was intended to do. And look at this. Already six gunpowder, four bones. I'm gonna move to a different project now because I've been working on this for quite a while. So I really need to do something else. So, I think, let's make a library. I'm not sure what the outcome is going to look like or anything like that, so I'm just going to sort of make it up as I go. This is sort of the outline of what it is going to be, and I mean, isn't it beautiful? It's not going to look out of the ordinary, it's just going to be a wooden building with a weird pool on the outside and a bunch of, um, bookshelves on the inside. Wait, do books actually exist in this version? I probably should have checked that before being so excited about this idea. I guess we'll find out later. <laughs> Otherwise, this will just be another house for now. So you may be thinking to yourself, this is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. And to that I say, I think you need glasses. I mean, it, it just looks like an average, <laughs> an average looking house. It's got a beautiful view that way, and it's got a all right view over here and to this mound of dirt. But basically, the mound of dirt is the most beautiful thing about this. But I mean, it might look better once it's got a roof and once it's got a beautiful invention called Windows. You may not have heard of it, um, they've only been around for the past few years. Maybe I don't like beta after all. So I've got an issue. The... They, they, um, well, uh, hmm, well, uh, they, um, so that's the roof done. You may not realize it because of this, and I hope that isn't permanent. It looks funny, but also at the same time it's definitely not preferable. I guess it does look quite nice. There's this issue because they just don't go sideways. They don't connect so I have to have slabs in there. And then also if we go onto the other side there's the same issue. I, I had to add in full blocks into each one of these. Which looks weird but that's the best that I can come up with. Now to see if I'm a dumbass or if it will actually work. Looks like I'm a dumbass. I'm going to do a bit of research, but it looks like that might just be a house. So according to the internet, I'm not a dumbass, and all I need to do... So it looks like the internet is a dumbass. Oh! It's that way. I have made one book. And I have accidentally made three sugar.
And that's proof that bookshelves do exist in this version. So I'm going to make a fuck ton of them and then <laughs> this will actually be a library. I have five bookshelves, that is far from enough, but I'm going to put them in and then I'm going to put glass on it and I'll do the rest later. Because anyways, that's all I've got time for for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it, so please like, please subscribe, all of that good shit. Um, follow my Twitter to keep updated um, with everything. Uh, but anyways, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm just going to put in these doors. Here we go. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning.